Like many balloonists, seeing a balloon in flight for the first time was enough to inspire pilots like Steve Andrews to take up the craft. After a trip to New Mexico's balloon fiesta, Steve and his wife, Kim, returned to Maryland with a new passion and thrill for flying. And although the concept of hot air balloons is simple, it takes extensive training. There's a lot of studying, you know. You've got to go to pilot school for lighter than air aircraft. It's totally different than fixed wing. So you are taking courses from an instructor. All the rules apply that the FAA lays out for you. Steve says anyone thinking of getting their license will have to be prepared for hard work. But it's a challenge that his youngest crew member, Matthew, is eager to take on. A junior balloonist who's working on his pilot's license now, while most teenagers are simply trying to get their driver's license. I started when I was for crewing. I'm really training when I was 14, and I'm 16 right now, and hopefully sometime this year I can get my license. Matthew is just one of the many crew members needed for the balloon setup. Each member offers a helping hand to ensure a safe takeoff, flight, and landing. But weather plays the most important role of all. Calm weather is the goal. We don't want anything within 100 miles of rain, so we also want to know all the different cloud types, different fronts, and different things that could possibly happen. Since hot air balloons are at the mercy of weather, Steve's team keeps up with its patterns and wind speeds, not only for Maryland, but its surrounding states as well. Ideally, they look for a high pressure forecast with clear skies and light winds from the surface to roughly 10,000 feet. When the weather is calm and conditions are safe for flight, the team works together preparing the balloon by laying it out in the direction the wind is blowing. We have it all spread out, start cold inflating with this large fan right here beside us. After we get it fluffed up real nice and fat with the fan, that's when we give it the heat. The 120,000 cubic feet of ripstop nylon has no problem holding the heat generated by these burners. As the heat builds, the balloon stands and it's ready for takeoff.